Hello and welcome back for another episode of Power Behind the Throne. If you're new here you can watch the previous episodes in a special playlist on the channel. Today we will examine the interesting life of Mirima Sultan, who became valid without having a son on the throne. There are enough articles and movies dedicated to her mother, the great Haram Sultan, but Mirima, became one of their, most influential figures and powerful forces behind the throne in her own right. Born around 1522 Mirima Sultan, was an Ottoman princess, and the daughter of Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and his wife, Haram Sultan. Her name, Mirima means sun and moon, or moon of the suns in Persian. She was born in Istanbul during the reign of her father, her mother Haram Sultan was a daughter of an orthodox priest sold into slavery and gifted to Suleiman by his mother Hafsa Sultan. When Mirima was born her mother was the current Sultan's concubine. In 1533 or 1534, her mother, Haram, was freed and became Suleiman's legal wife. She had five brothers, Sayyid Memd, Sayyid Abdullah, who died at the age of three years, Sayyid Selim, future Selim II, Sayyid, Bayezid, and Sayyid Sihanga. Mirima was well educated, sophisticated, and disciplined. She was the most powerful imperial princess in Ottoman history and one of the prominent figures during the Sultanate of Women. She was the only Ottoman princess in history to legally hold the title of Valide Sultan. She held that title during Selim II's reign as Sultan, thus becoming a valid Sultan to her younger brother. This was one of the extremely rare cases that the title valid Sultan was not held by the biological mothers of the Ottoman Sultans. The only other known occasion that this happened was when Peresta Kadden was given the title of valid Sultan by her stepson, Sultan Abdulhamid II. In 1539, Suleiman decided to marry Mirima to Rustam, a deaf Sherm from Croatia, who rose to become governor of Debek, and later, Suleiman's Grand Vizier. Deaf Sherm usually translated as child levy, or blood tax, and is referred to forcibly taking children boys of their Balkan Christian subjects. The boys were forced to convert to Islam, examined, and trained to serve the empire. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make a separate video about the blood tax in the Ottoman Empire. Although Rustam was chosen as a husband, Haram believed that her daughter should be married to a more handsome governor of Cairo. Despite that, the wedding took place on the 26th of November 1539 in the old palace, when Mirima was 17. Her wedding ceremony and the celebration for her younger brothers Bayezid and Sihanga's circumcision occurred on the same day, the collective festivities lasting 15 days. Five years later in 1544, her husband was selected by Suleiman to become Grand Vizier and he held the post until his death in 1561. Shortly after her wedding she developed a rheumatoid-like condition and spent most of her life dealing with the illness. Mirima and Rustam had one daughter, Ash Sultan, born on the 25th of August 1547. In 1554, Mirima suffered a life-threatening miscarriage from which she managed to recover. But the couple didn't have any more children. Although there is no proof of Haram, or Mirima's, direct involvement in her half-brother, Sayyid Mustafa's downfall. Ottoman sources and foreign accounts indicate that it was widely believed that Haram, Rustam, and Mirima, worked first to eliminate Mustafa, so as ensure the throne to Haram's son and Mirima's full brother, Bayezid. The rivalry ended in a loss for Mustafa, when he was, executed by his own father's command in 1553 during the campaign against Safavid Persia because of fear of rebellion. Although these stories were not based on first-hand sources, this fear of Mustafa was not unreasonable. 
had Mustafa ascended to the throne, all Miram's full brothers, Selim, Bayezid, and Sihanga, would have likely been executed, according to the fratricide custom of the Ottoman, dynasty, which required all brothers of the new sultan be executed to avoid feuds among imperial siblings. Mirima, became Suleiman's advisor, his confidant, and his closest relative. After Haram's death, Mirima took her mother's place, as her father's counselor, urging him to undertake the conquest of Malta in 1565 and sending him the news and forwarding letters for him when he was absent from capital. She enlisted the help of the Grand Vizier Semiz, Ali Pasha and promising to outfit 400 ships at her own expense. However, Suleiman and his son Selim prevented the campaign from going forward so that the Admiral, Payal Pasha, might remain in Istanbul with his new wife, Jevahan Sultan, Selim's daughter. She also most likely fueled Suleiman's decision to launch a campaign against Hungary in 1566, where he met his death in Szygdva. In later years, Mirima retired to the old palace. When Selim ascended the throne in 1566, he made his way to the harem at the earliest opportunity after arriving in the capital, and sought Mirima, as their mother had died eight years earlier. She continued to act as an advisor to Selim. Her influence, due mainly to financial power, did not decline. As soon as he came to power, Selim turned to her for help as he needed money, after which she lent him 50,000 gold coins. In 1571, the Ragazants asked her to speak with the Sultan when the time allowed her, and to recommend them and spare a couple of kind words for their love's sake. In 1575, during the reign of her nephew Sultan Murad III, her daily stipend consisted of 600 aspers. The French refused to return two Turkish women who had been captured at sea by Henry III's brother-in-law and made members of Catherine de Medici's court. Interceding on behalf of the Turkish women were Mirima and her niece, Ismihan Sultan. Mirima also sponsored a number of major architectural projects. Her most famous foundations are the two Istanbul area mosque complexes that bear her name, both designed by her father's chief architect, Mimar Sinan. Mirima Sultan Mosque, also known as Iskel Mosque was built between 1543 or 1544 and 1548. The second mosque is also named as Mirima Sultan Mosque at the Edirn Gate, at the western wall of the old city of Istanbul. Its building took place from 1562 to 1565. The Twin Minaret Mosque complex in Euskida, a prominent landmark, consisted of a mosque, a madrasa, a soup kitchen to feed the poor, a clinic, and a primary school. With the exception of the mosque, the primary school, library, and madrasa are currently used to serve as an outpatient clinic. The mosque in Edernikap consists of a fountain, madrasa, and hammam. Unlike its namesake, it features a single minaret. Mirima died in Istanbul on the 25th of January 1578 outliving all of her siblings. She is the only one of Suleiman's children to be buried in his tomb, the Suleiman II Mosque Complex. Who is your favorite strong woman? during the period of Sultanate of Women and Why? Let us know in the comments below. If you like our content consider subscribing to the channel, like this you will never miss a new video. Thank you for watching. See you next Friday.